So, since I'm not nearly as good with technology as I am with animals, I inadvertently made a video the other day trying to show you guys a really cool new zoo up north that has absolutely no audio. So, we had to swing up here today and we are going to get some better footage. We are going to show you guys some stuff. The kids and I are up here while Ashley is at work. We are in Lake City, Michigan at a brand new, never before seen zoo. And uh, we're going to try and see some pretty cool stuff before we get out of here and give you guys a little bit of a preview as to all the hard work that's going in up here. I'm filming from inside the car right now because lo and behold, surprise, surprise, I didn't charge my phone all the way up here. But this is Zeke, and Zeke is a Grant's zebra. These guys are a subspecies of the plain zebra. I'm hoping he comes over here and says hi so you guys get a little bit better shot of him. And he lives in here with a couple of miniature donkeys. This is zebra, Papa. Yes. Zeke is your favorite, isn't he? You were so excited to come up here and see him the whole time. You talked about it for the two hours that it took to drive up. As you can see, he's actually pretty interested in a lot of people. I don't like to use the word tame when it comes to zebras because they're a little bit more unpredictable. Um, but they are pretty neat to get to be able to see one this close as opposed to halfway. That is Zeke. As you can see, Bray is really excited to go here and see Zeke again. He asks at least once a week to come to April and Ryan's. Now over here, we've got the little petting zoo they've got set up. And again, my motion is somewhat limited due to the fact that I have to do this from inside the car. But right now, it is home to two alpacas. It's in pop. It's Braden apparently is going to take over the tour and tell us all the animals that he sees. What else is in there? Oh, alpacas. Alpacas? What are those over there? Mm -hmm. What? Nope, look ahead of me. What's those? Mm -hmm. What are those? Nope, over here, buddy. Goats. Yeah, there's goats in there. Mm -hmm. Give everybody a shot so they can kind of see what you're looking at. What are those? We've got a goat here what named Red. And it will pull up a little bit. Are those? those are the emus and the turkeys. We got a couple of Jacob sheep in here. Mm -hmm. And there's actually wandering around in here somewhere. We'll try and get a shot. Right back there, if you take a look, there's an adult male emu. He's right around two years old. Second largest bird in the world, Australia. Mm -hmm. like, and as you can see, what the, the really cool thing it's about this goat. zoo, yeah, there's a goat. And what are those? Alpacas. Alpacas. What you can really see is that they've managed to leave a lot of the woods intact through here, which makes for a really neat experience. And mind you, this will not be a drive through safari. It's in the early stages. Everything here is a little bit wet right now. And I have the kids and no stroller, so I am just filming this from in here so that way I can charge my phone at the same time. Um, but it's a very, very rustic looking zoo. What do you want to do, Bobs? Go take a picture of the kangaroo. You want to go take a picture of the kangaroo? All right, let's go do that. And as we can see here, We've got Darwin. Darwin is a red kangaroo. If I remember correctly, April, the owner, told me that he's right around five and a half, six years old. As you can see, these guys have gigantic enclosures. So they very much have a lot of room to move around. They are very, very well taken care of because, it, as you can see, even though I'm sitting in the car and shooting my mirrors half the time, these guys are coming up close to the fence, which is a nice exception to a lot of the bigger zoos where you have to see them in a far off distance. All of these animals are born in captivity. None of them are taken out of the wild. 
first of all, this is a really, really cool experience to get to see these guys moving around. Now, this is going to be something that's really cool once they get it all done. Um, as you can kind of see from my shoddy camera work here, this is actually going to be a walkover bridge. And from what I'm told is that this is going to be a koi pond slash turtle pond. And eventually the plan is able to do weddings here um, and have people get married on the bridge and have Zeke, the zebra, in the background of your weddings. So that's definitely something pretty cool to think about. And as promised, there's a couple of shots of the donkeys that he shares his enclosure with. A couple of little miniature Sicilians. All right, so Braden is very insistent that in this video I get some pictures of the poultry. Um, in this particular enclosure right now, we have a white turkey. Is it, is it a turkey? That's right, there's a turkey. What's this one, Bray, with the blue head? What's the other one, remember? Hmm. What's that one? Okay. The peacocks? I take a picture of ducks. Yep, we'll go up here and we'll take a picture of the ducks. As you, again, you can see, they do this really, really cool rustic look that does not look like normal fencing. We've got a baby female emu here and a couple white Peking ducks. Raiden, again, was very insistent we take pictures of the ducks. Yes, we'll go over and see Wiley next. Let's go up here, buddy. Take a picture of water buffalo. Yep. I take a picture of water buffalo. I take some pictures. I take water buffalo. There's Wiley. We'll go over and get some pictures of a couple of the rescue ponies, horses that they've got here at the zoo. As you can hear, it's starting to rain just a little bit, so I'm glad that I can sit in the comfort of the car. And now here's something pretty neat in here. Um, you know those cute little tortoises everybody wants to buy? There's an image on like Instagram and Facebook. Of the cute little baby tortoise that's you know, the size of a quarter eating a strawberry that's as big as him. Well, this is what it turns into at 15. That is a tortoise. Okay. What's down there? What do you see? What is that? That's a big baby tortoise, isn't it? Now, mind you, being a sulcata, he's going to probably be close to 200 pounds when he's full grown. He's quite massive right now, and it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but that tree to the left of him probably has got about a two foot diameter. So just to kind of give you an indication of just how big he is. Yes, we'll go over here and we'll get some pictures of the lemurs. So I'm trying not to do too much cross shooting, but as you can see, they did make these beautiful enclosures, like I said. I cannot talk about that fact enough. Um, keeping it very rustic looking, even right down to the animals enclosures themselves. That's where the Cotamundi lives. I think he's sleeping right now, buddy. <laughs> 